Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out and joining us for our partnership announcement here for Richard Petty Motorsports. Glad you guys could join us. I'm Alex Hayden from the Motor Racing Network. Privileged to be up here with this uh, esteemed group of professionals to my left up here. We'll give you the introductions just in case you're not aware of everybody on the stage. First of all, to my immediate left, the driver of the number 43 Richard Petty Motorsports Chevrolet Camaro Z01, Bubba Wallace. To his left, of course, if you don't know who that is, you may find yourself in the wrong area. That is NASCAR Hall of Famer, co-owner Richard Petty Motorsports, the King Richard Petty. To the King's left there is the Vice President, Global Human Resources Worldwide Technology and President Worldwide Technology Foundation, Ann Marr. And at the far end of the table next to her, President and CEO of Victory Junction, Chad Coltrane. So we'll get things underway. We'll start with Ann. Tell us why we're here. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you guys for having me. And it is just such an honor to be sitting next to this man. I tell you, I'm a little starstruck, so I hope I can get through this. But thank you, guys. It, it really is a pleasure to be here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I thought it was loud, but I guess I'm not loud enough. Thanks, Bob. I guess I'm not loud enough. Okay. Um, it is just a pleasure to be here on behalf of Worldwide Technology and our founder and chairman, Dave Stewart, and his family. Um, I also want to introduce, I have another member of the Worldwide team with me, Nicole Tate's here with me. She is our director of sales development, so sometimes you need a little support when you're traveling. But we are today uh, here to celebrate a new strategic partnership with Worldwide Victory Junction and, of course, Daryl Bubba Wallace through a leadership gift made by Worldwide and the Stewart Foundation. Victory Junction will receive the Richard Petty Motorsports number 43 Camaro ZL1 sponsor benefits in a select number of Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races in 2019. Simply put, Victory Junction will be the first nonprofit organization to sponsor a professional sports team. This is a visionary investment strategy. Investing in a diverse nonprofit organization, further investing in driver Bubba Wallace. But giving is not new to the Stewart Foundation and worldwide technology. We have a very long history of supporting the arts, culture, education, youth, and diversity causes that improve the quality of life, um, such as the Variety Club Children's Charity, Boy Scouts of America, St. Jude's, the United Way, and many, many other organizations. Last year, we extended our investment to include Bubba as the only NASCAR driver of color uh, so diversity matters to us, it really does. Nobody represents that better in racing than Bubba. The message of hope and strength of character that Bubba sends to diverse kids will have a ripple effect on generations to come. The Stewart family decided to invest in Victory Junction due to alignment of values and the organization's focus on diversity of supporting kids with different physical and mental conditions. So this is not anything new to Worldwide and the Stewart Foundation. We know this to resonate with existing and new NASCAR fans bringing attention to Victory Junction, their mission to serve kids who face diverse challenges, and providing a call to action for fans to assist in their annual fundraising efforts. The future visibility of worldwide, our communities, and racing depends on developing a diverse pipeline of STEM professionals. To do that, we must embrace kids of diversity, including diversity of life experiences. Our recent investment in worldwide technology, Raceway at Gateway, which happens to be the track on which Bubba first won, right? 
uh, he was, was made through uh, STEM and diversity in mind. The media coverage for the naming rights um, agreement of Worldwide Raceway garnered over 300 million web hits. It was just incredible. We hope to bring the same kind of attention to Victory Junction's vital mission. We are delighted to announce that the partnership will commence this weekend here at the Pocono Raceway, and we look forward to seeing Victory Junction featured on Bubba Wallace's Chevrolet Camaro. <laughs> so again, thank you guys for allowing us to be here. This, this is a very exciting thing for us to be a part of. So really, um, again, on behalf of Worldwide, the Stewart Foundation, and Dave Stewart, you know, we are happy about this partnership. Thank you, and Chad, for those who may not be totally familiar with Victory Junction, tell folks more about Victory Junction and why this partnership is such a unique opportunity. Well, you know, the story of Victory Junction is one of triumph over tragedy. Uh, the Petty family in 2004 opened the gates of Victory Junction um, in honor of Adam Petty. And in celebration of our 15th anniversary, the Stewart Family Foundation has created a strategic partnership with Victory Junction, with Bubba Wallace, and with Richard Petty Motorsports to create a, in which we'll create a, a uh, call to action campaign. In that call to action campaign, we will, um, we're gonna title that campaign, Feel Your Heart Race, which is the tagline of Victory Junction. And the heart, Feel Your Heart Race campaign will allow NASCAR fans to donate directly to Victory Junction over the course of this season. We are so grateful to the Stewart Family Foundation uh, for this partnership. Um, it should be noted that uh, not a single dollar um, of Victory Junction's operational budget will go towards this partnership. This is fully funded by the Stewart Family Foundation. I love the quote, there's a quote in the press release that, uh, that Mr. Stewart had, and he says, he says that we will show a global audience that diversity in all forms matters. And to me, Victory Junction served 50,000 campers over our 15 year history. Last year, we served 498 separate diagnoses of kids um, in our summer camp program. And for me, this partnership, uh, this partnership is gonna propel Victory Junction for the next 15 years and it's gonna ensure that we continue to be a camp that serves all kids. Thank you, it's spectacular stuff there. Thank you, Chad, for that. King, there's also the racing side of this. How important is this partnership to Richard Petty Motorsports? Well, you know, it's always uh, important to have good backing uh, for your race car. Uh, you know, we've got a, a pretty good driver here. We just gotta give him a better car. So as everybody knows, it takes, takes money to, to make a better car. And, uh, you know, with worldwide technology already working with uh, Bubba and, and uh, Richard Petty Motorsports, and now with the, they coming in and working with us with uh, Victory Junction Camp, then all, all of it just sort of come together. And uh, so it's a perfect storm for us uh, from the racing standpoint and a perfect storm for Victory Junction to get the name out there uh, a lot of people's heard tell of it, don't know what it is. This is going to give everybody a chance to really see what Victory Junction does. And uh, with the Stewart Foundation behind it, the WWT behind it, uh, it it's going to just make it that much better for everybody. And, uh, you know, personally, I, I just want to call, uh, thank Dave for kind of getting with us and sticking with us, uh, Dave Stewart, uh, with WWT. Uh, and, just tell him, you know, how much we appreciate that. And uh, I think it's gonna be good for everybody. I agree with that. That's Richard Petty, Bubba Wallace, uh, getting good fast race cars. That's always a good thing, but it's also a good thing to, to be a representative where you can help people and be a part of an organization that helps people. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if there's much left for me to say um, besides uh, thank you to Dave, thank you to Victory Junction, everybody involved uh, to make this happen. Um, we know we've we've kind of been struggling the last year or so, and and uh, I've been upfront about it. And to to have somebody over the years, I, I've told coming into coming into RPM, I told uh, Brian Moffat back in the corner that I don't get excited over much. So. 
don't give me an update on, on much unless it's on the side of the race car. And uh, I've been let down a lot. But uh, the first moment I met Dave, um, there was something different about it. And we've had multiple conversations. And Brian and I would call each other after the fact and ask, was this real? Are we dreaming? And uh, he called me uh, Tuesday, I think it was, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, I was like, oh, here's another update. You know, that's just how it was. And, and next thing you know, he said we had some good news and that everything was a go. And and uh, I was kind of speechless at first. I didn't know what to say because, you know, there was a part of me that doubted it and, you know, didn't know if it was going to happen. And, and, you know, it's been in the works for a really long time. So uh, for us to, to finally, you know, seek some light and, and turn this program around. Nobody's given up at the shop. And the attitude that we still carry, I talk about it each and every week, the attitude we carry to the racetrack, you wouldn't think we're, you know, where we're at. So I uh, love where I'm at. love my team. Uh, we got, you know, an opportunity to go out and set the world on fire and to speak on Victory Junction. I've been able to visit twice, three times maybe. Um, and there's no cooler, special place to, to see kids light up and you know, let themselves be kids again. Uh, no matter what boundaries they have on, on their life, it's, uh, it's incredible to see just how much fun they are having, uh, all for a great cause. And, and you know, when we show up for NASCAR night, they love the pit stops. They love when the king climbs out of the car. Um, it's, it's, it's truly a special night when we get to go there and just remembering how big of an impact we made. Dave is all about making the impact, um, a huge impact on our generation coming up through a youth generation. And diversity inclusion is big. and, and uh, Victory Junction embodies that. So it's an honor to carry the, the name and the colors of Victory Junction on our Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Um, no pressure on me to, to make it better, uh, but, um, but just an incredible opportunity and the, the call to action plan. I think the biggest thing we can do as people um, is, is, is to donate back to the camp, and you can do that by calling, I think I'm going to get this right, 336-390-4845. I think I got that right. We practiced that for about 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> or you can go to victoryjunction.org slash donate now. <laughs> I got both of them, I believe. So um, be sure to do that, please. Um, again, this is an incredible opportunity for all of us involved. And uh, one way for fans to be a part of it is, is to do those two methods of, of giving back to the camp. So we appreciate it, and we're excited. Bubba, it's also kind of fitting, too, that you're going to carry the colors here at Pocono Raceway. This is where you got your first cup start with the King here just two years ago. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about it. We had a, we had a Mack truck visit uh, yesterday up in Philly, and I drive over here about an hour. I was thinking about how I have such a, a love-hate relationship with this place. Uh, ever since coming here in the trucks, I could never figure it out. Um, 2017, this was my last Xfinity race. I was kicked out of the ride. But then that was my first cup race the same weekend. Um, I had a near-death experience last year, brakes going out, uh, exciting announcements. So it's just back and forth with this place. This place will always be special. We're going to open it up for questions to all of you. We do have microphones around. Uh, so put your hand in the air. We'll get a microphone to you. We'll start here with Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM, NASCAR Radio. Bubba, you have a big following, and, you know, results on the track are one thing, but people that sort of follow you where you go is another. How much do you feel like you can make a difference by communicating this to the fans and translating that to donations to the Victory Junction Gang Camp? Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. And, and, you know, now you're at this level, you, you started seeing people, you know, if we're, if we're talking about a certain sponsor, you'll see fans tweet back, just went and picked this up, hope you guys follow through with it, and you know, tweeting at the company. And, and you know, it, it truly is, if, if a company joins our team, fans are going to flock to it and they're going to follow. So it's pretty incredible how that works out. So um, no reason in believing that this won't help as well. People are going to be able to donate with the two methods that I gave. I don't know if I can recite that number again. 336-390-4845, um, <laughs> be able to do that. Uh, got it. Um, but I think this is going to help out a lot. So we just have to keep doing everything on the right foot and the best note that we can. And uh, we'll keep getting more and more donations, and we'll just all continue to grow as a, grow as a whole. <laughs> Record, uh, Bubba, to know what the Victory Junction came means to the Petty family. You touched on it a little bit earlier, but can you kind of speak to what it means? For for you to be able to carry those colors around the racetrack? Yeah, I, I remember, everybody in here remembers being a kid. Um, I remember starting out go-kart racing. Um, I was always, there was a couple of us, uh, were always late to the grid because we were off in the field playing football. And the race is starting. And we'd run in, strap in, and go race, and, and get back out and go continue to play football. And, you know, as you started getting older and older, you, you had more, you know, uh, 
obligations that you had to fill and, and you started becoming more of an adult. I'm just a, a really big kid. Um, but I remember being that kid and, and, and having the, the time of your life, having no worries, you know, not wanting to go to bed, eat all the, the cookies and candies and, and Coca-Cola. Um, so going to camp, you get to see that. And you get to see, you know, kids with disabilities and, and life-threatening disabilities that, that have no worries in the world because they're having the time of their life something they haven't had in, in a really long time. And and uh, you wouldn't think that there's anything wrong with them and just because of the, the amount of fun that they're having, the smiles light up light up the place. Um, and walking in, it's it's it definitely, you know, touches you. Uh, it pulls on the heartstrings a lot and and they're just excited to be living life to the fullest. And and that's what I encourage everybody to do every day is is, is don't let anything hold you back, no matter what it is and and Victory Junction, that's what it's about. Well said. Tim? Tim Kettle on the WRC Sports Bubba, turning the race in just a second, how much confidence did that win in the All-Star Open give you a couple of weeks ago as far as personality and everything? Yeah, no, that was big. Um, you know, I guess that was a, um, a pat on the back and say, all right, bud, you can still do it. Um, you might have to wreck Suarez for it, but that's all right. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Steve Post? Steve Post Motor Racing Network, and actually I want to follow that question to Richard. Richard, Bubba just talked about a light at the end of the tunnel from the sponsorship standpoint and from the corporate standpoint, but when you watch that 43 car in that all-star race up front mixing it up, what was that like for you to see to see that, and was it a light kind of at the end of the tunnel to see such good speed and performance and, and talent from your team? No, I, I think what it does, it shows that under the right <clears throat> circumstances, the guys doing the job in the pit, the guys that work on the car every week get it done, and then we'll give Bubba a decent car, then he goes out and can show his uh, ability. So basically what it did was raise the bar for RPM. We know we can do it. We know Bubba can do it. We know the crew can do it. And so now uh, with the help of what's going on right here up today, that's going to give us a boost. we already got the boost. Now we've got something to back it up with. So I, th I think it's uh, hopefully when we look back in the book and stuff, this was a, that was a turning point in uh, RPM. Dan Gelson, the Associated Press. Bubba, um, what kind of reaction did you get from fans, family, anyone, to when you opened up about your hardships at Kansas? Uh, <clears throat> a lot more text messages than after we won the Open. I'll say that. <laughs> um, you know, it's everybody in here knows uh, some new, some some have been around for a while. Uh, that I'm, I wear my heart on my sleeve, and, and 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 it's got me in trouble before talking about you know certain you know maybe sponsorship stuff. But um, you know, if you if you can't talk about it, people don't know about it. So uh, so it's uh, it's it's been kind of like a change of pace. And ever since that, I, I didn't know that was you know so effective on so many people. That was just me. Um, just speaking out about it and yeah I'm going through this and that's part of it and from family to fans to people on the you know crew members and and whatnot just reaching out and saying thank you for talking about it and I was like yeah all right and I didn't know how big of an impact that would have so um it's uh it's it's been it's been better since Kansas I'll say that still not 100 percent but uh, you know, the Open's help, sponsorship efforts have helped. Still got a lot of things to work on for myself personally to to, to be back to old Bubba, uh, as, as people would say. I got a couple text messages after the Open saying that was the old Bubba that everybody missed. So um, I think I look a little bit better than old Bubba, but I, I don't know. We're still trying to get there. <laughs> Bob Pockris and then Jeff Glo uh, Bob Pockris, Fox Sports, either for Bubba or, or Richard. What does this extra funding allow you to do? Are you getting new cars, new pieces, more people? Are we getting new cars? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll find out. Uh, you know, this is this all came together a couple of days ago, so uh, we know we know how how long it takes and, and the process of of getting those key components in place. So uh, our speed ever since the open uh, has been really good. We were really good in the 600. We had some terrible luck. Uh, we were a top 15 car. We haven't been that since the start of the season. Uh, so. Ex no reason why we shouldn't be right there this weekend coming into Pocono. Uh, it'll be exciting to see how the package goes, but over time, I think we will start seeing big changes and and uh, more consistent pace out of the 43, which is uh, which will be nice. So as of right now, we're just doing whatever we got, doing everything we can with whatever whatever we got. Jeff, hey Jeff Gluck from the Athletic. Um, for Bubba, I'm just wondering, like 
maybe I'm reading between the lines too much here, but it seems like this is a pretty creative arrangement that had to be done, some outside the box thinking that you don't normally see. So I'm interpreting it as like somebody that really believed in you and wanted to support you. Um, so if, if that's the case, you know, what, what does that mean to you that somebody believed in you that strongly and wanted to back you? And what's your relationship like with, with David Stewart? Um, after every meeting we had with Dave Stewart, I'd call my mom and I would say, this can't be real. Uh, there's twice, two, three meetings um, where he specifically looked at Brian and, and the King in, his, in their faces and said, I'm not working for you guys. I'm working for me. And I'm like, you just told the King that, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was like, <sighs> I couldn't believe it. And I still don't. Uh, you, you just, it's, you've been beat down so many times. And, and, and talked, we got this, we got that, we got this, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, and, and nothing happens. And, and next thing you know, you, you start to have, I guess, trust issues. And, and, and I, I told them day one, before I signed the contract, you know, yeah, we're in a tough spot. And, yeah, we're going to, you know, we might have opportunities, but I don't care about the updates. I don't, I don't want to hear about them because I don't believe you. And I'm not trying to be harsh. That's just me being realistic. I don't believe you until it's on the car. Um, but there was something about Dave since day one. He... He, he wanted this to happen. He was, he's big in diversity. He's big in, in the youth and inclusion. And, and the conversation with Brian, I mean, it was, this can't be real, right? And we, we said that multiple times. And, and uh, to, you know, to, to make it happen all together and, and at this time is, is incredible. And I mean, I'm, 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 you know, tearing up about it because you haven't had somebody believe in me like that since hell, I started. And you know, it was me, my dad, and Chris. That was it. And so it's been a long time, and to have that support, it, it really means a lot. So you know, it's we know how sponsorship works, and you know, the driver tries to kind of latch onto that sponsor, and then you know, once you have the green light, and you and the sponsor are tight, you can kind of go wherever you want, and 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 do you kind of control your own pace, and and uh, you know, right now it's. This is uh, this is huge for me just to to have to, to be a part of the Stewart family and and the Worldwide Tech family and the Victory Junction family. There's a lot of people that believe in me, I guess, and that I, I guess I can, I don't know, turn that blind eye. I can I open it up, but still, it's just really hard for me to believe. But it's tr it's truly special to have that kind of power uh, behind me. I I will say that if you've ever met Dave, I mean, he's his support is is a hundred percent authentic, and you know when he he supports you, he inspires you, he's there right beside you, whether he's here, which he's not here today, or he's there mentally for you. So it's, it's really an impactful partnership. When he believes in you, he believes in you. And I've, I've worked for him for over 20 years, and I'm still inspired by him. So it, it's real, it's authentic, and, you know, he, he is just such a genuine individual that it makes you want to do better just because you know you want to do it for him. Yep, absolutely. Any other questions? One more, Bob Pockers. Can you say how many races the Victory Junction logo be in the hood or maybe, comp like, is it one of your bigger sponsors that you have yeah. now? Yeah, 16. 16, yeah. Big time. Let's go racing. Speaking of let's go racing, we'd like to invite everybody outside right now. We're going to get a look at the Victory Junction okay. Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Uh, Pink King, go right ahead. Before everybody goes, this is Bubba's number. Y'all come up here and get it. Put it in the paper. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, text Bubba to that number. I forgot that part. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> let's Thank go outside and see the race Thank car right now. Just mere much. steps away from the uh, Adam Petty garage here at Pocono.